was called an investment. Am I right or wrong? So at first we gotta get past that. But I said, let me tell you why you have to go out and get 10%. And they looked at me and I said, well, think about it. There's 60,000 apartments for sale in, in the Fort Lauderdale area. 60,000 of them. They said, apartments, not apartments, condos, Mark. I said, well, what's the difference? Am I right or wrong? There's a two bedrooms, they got a living room, dining room, they got a water closet, they got a view of the ocean, which is black 12 hours a day. And that's extra money. Or, or a view of the city, which has some pretty lights at night. Are you with me? But I said, so when it's said and done, what's the difference between one and the other? I said, I'll tell you what the difference is, how much you pay the salesperson. Because the salesperson can direct those people any way they choose. More times than what? Not. So all of a sudden, they started going out taking 10% listings, and I said, you don't take one under 12 months. If they're not prepared to list 12 months with you, you turn them down. Why? Because you need time to get a return on your what? Investment. See, you're business people, gang, before you're sales people. If you want to be successful in the real estate business, you've got to start running it as a business. So now stick with me, I'll get into more commissions in a few minutes, but I'm going to teach you how to get six every time today, and I'm going to even teach some of you how to get seven if you choose to go out and try it. Nothing ventured, nothing what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. But it all starts off in having confidence in myself, in my company, and my industry, that I believe, that I believe. Now you take that confidence, that belief, and the next thing they do, the top 10% is they create purpose in their career. Every moment of every day, they're creating purpose. And when we're talking about creating purpose, it all starts off with making sure that you put together smart goals. Smart goals. Now, a lot of people get confused with goals. They get confused with goals having it either a, um, a goal of 12 months, two year, three year, four year, five year. But the truth of the matter is, gang, those are not goals. That's called life business management planning. That's that you've got a life plan. Where do I want to be three years, five years, 10 years from now? Goals are much different. Goals should never be longer than eight weeks. That's been proven 10 different ways to Sunday. It's better actually to take the eight week goal Break it into two four weeks. Break the four weeks into weekly. Break the weekly into daily. That's the best way to hit your goals, little pieces at a time. And when we're talking about the uh, why SMART goals, it's an acronym. The S in SMART goals stand for specific. Your goal that you set for yourself must be specific. Must be laser beam specific. You know, I often tell the story about what I think is the greatest motivational uh, movie ever created about hitting and setting and hitting goals. And if you haven't watched it in the real estate business at least 10 times, you need to go back and have a different view on it. And that movie is Rocky One. Think about this for a second. We all know the song. You know, dun, 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 dun. Come on, we're in a red sea coast here. Give me a little jazz. Let's do it. Remember, he's running up the stairs. Okay. There we go. There we go. How about this side? You can be better These two, two, two characters. You had Apollo Creed, tall, good looking man, kind of Sidney Poitier looking, uh, built well, beautiful wife, beautiful house, the best trainers in the world, the best nutritionist, the best gym. He had everything. Am I right or wrong? And then you had Rocky Balboa, the Italian stallion, lived in a basement apartment. His manager was a grouchy old man. His uh, uh, girlfriend was the librarian. His, 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 his uh, gym was the meat locker. His treadmill was the Library of Congress in Philly, I believe. But you want to know something? 
Apollo Creed never had a shot against Rocky. Why? Because Rocky had the eye of the tiger, man. See, you could have put a bullet in Rocky, and he was going to win that fight. Am I right or wrong? Because he had one specific goal. And the specific goal was to come back with that belt. Now, we can talk about how he came up with that goal or what made him take it to that point. We all have different triggering factors that drive us to success. Some of it may be that you want to be acknowledged by your community, friends or family, that I'm a successful person. Some of you will do that because you, others will do it for material gain. Look at my car, look at my house, look at my watch. Some will do it because they come from a, 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 a life of poverty and they want to make sure that they never live that life again. So quite often they can become, I don't know if this is the right word, but hoarders. You know, my grandmother was like that, God bless her soul. When she passed on and we went into her basement to clean out the basement, she had enough canned goods there from Campbell's, I swear to God, they could have built a factory. <laughs> you with me? But grew up in the Depression, she was afraid that someday she's not gonna have any food. And then you get the ones that do it for love. You know, that rhymes with the story of Napoleon Bonaparte, the great French conqueror. He was only about five feet tall, maybe less than that. In those days, the women wanted big, strong, burly men. Men that were going to protect them, bring home the meat. Napoleon, though the great general he was, he fell in love with a woman by the name of Josephine. And Josephine was known at that time as being the most beautiful woman in all the land. And Napoleon struck out on the seven-year conquest to, to, to take nations. And, and, and the reason he did that was he wanted to prove to Josephine that he was worthy of her love. Do you follow me, gang? I'm not sure what your trigger point is. You've got to find your trigger point, whether it's material gain, whether it's acknowledgement from peers, whether it's because of a past life of poverty, or whether you've fallen in love and you want to prove you're worthy of your companion. I'm not sure you've got to find that, but I can tell you this, is that your goal you set for yourself must be specific. That I am going to accomplish this by this time, and you can shoot a bullet in me, it don't matter. You can take it to the bank, I am going to accomplish it. And if there's one specific goal that I could have you leave with today, being in the real estate business, because I'll tell you what, gang, I, I want to make this acknowledgement to you. I'm not real good at a lot of things in my life. Don't get me wrong when I say this. 99% of my life, I should be there and you, someone could be up here. You with me? I could be taught how to eat healthier. My whole life I've struggled with weight. I have to go to the gym three, four, five times a week. Um, um, I've got a couple of bad habits that I should get rid of. Um, but the one thing that I do know is I do know real estate sales. And I do know how to increase production in realtors. All of us are born with something if you find it. That was my gift. And if I can tell you one thing, that your goal should be every week, and if you take nothing else out of these three hours together with me, and we never see each other again, I can tell you if we bumped into each other 20 years from now, and you said, I remember you, and I remember one thing about your seminar, this is what I want you to remember, besides you can do it, meaning I believe in myself, is your job each week is to book three listing appointments and bring in one listing. That's ultimately what your job is. Stick with me, I'm going somewhere with this. You see, you don't work buyers. There's an old saying, buyers are what? If you want to make more money in less what? You want to have more fun? You want to have everybody on the real estate board working for you? Set a goal, make it specific, that each week, number one of my job to-do list is three listing appointments and one listing. The M then stands for measurable. And the only thing you can measure success with in the real estate business is the number of listings that you bring in. Don't count the money. Don't count the money. Money in the real estate business is similar to that movie Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner. 
If you build it, they will come. If you build